All right, welcome back. We are at war. Uh, funnily enough, we are winning this war, and we got the Surkog on our side. People were actually asking about that. It's like, hey, did you have a defensive pact up with the uh, Surkog confined uh, territories? And yes, indeed, we do. Also, I had to do a little bit of research uh, over the overnight, thinking, you know, how are we going to deal with this? And uh, I came to the, I found out that, well, it turns out that you only, in order to win a war effectively. All you have to do is pretty much block their block their space. Now we are basically we can blockade their planets, and that should be enough to take them down. We are going to jump our fleet into this system because we want to take out this uh, frontier outpost. And we should be able to do that. Although there is an enemy fleet over here, which is the GL Confederacy, but it looks like they're a little bit too busy um, fighting the uh, Dural Fervan uh, protectors. Um, which is fine. We can we can definitely deal with that. Our economy is relatively stable. We do have a massive amount of famine going on on some of these worlds, so we should probably move some of these pops around and make sure that food is happening. The same on this world, I believe. Oh my, we can actually upgrade this tile now. That's always positive. Uh, we should actually be able to. We have a target. What do we got? Uh, That's a thirty-two thousand star fleet. We should probably try to engage that whenever we can. Uh, that is the enemy Starfleet right here. Uh, it is 32k. It's hanging out. And they do have side jump drive, though. And if, Are they jumping in right now? That is the question. Or are they coming out? Uh, let's take a look here at their setup. Yeah, it's side jump drive. Uh, they're using mo mo mostly using lasers and point defense, which is fine. They're focused arc committers obviously are going to do a significant amount of damage, but nothing that we cannot handle. They're gone. Okay, so they've jumped out. Uh, the longer we let this war run... Okay, they've chased after here now, and that's not within our range, but that's fine. Uh, it means that we can occupy them for a little bit, and let's hope that uh, maybe if we build a wormhole station here... We can actually get some range in. Uh, that is a small Tajal Confederacy fleet. And where is their other fleet? There it is. Okay, we're going to try to engage this. Uh, engage this mass over here. We should be able to win over this. 42,000. We're going to go for an engagement once again. So let's see if we can try to get our, our uh, f ships here out of the way. While our strike force is jumping in. There they come. Yeah, it looks like they're going to go for bombing on to this world over here. Yeah, there we go. Ooh, that is potentially dangerous. We need to get you the hell out of there. Okay, what do we got? Star charts. Uh, okay, for once, I will go for some star charts. But we have managed to research side jump drive. That's a huge bonus, especially, you know, we can get a lot of good work done with that. It's 10% jump drive uh, research. It's going to go a, a really long way. I'm really happy with that. Why is this fleet in this system? Okay, we're in here right now. We've jumped in. We are using wormhole drive. Let's hope that we can uh, reinforce this uh, fleet as much as possible. We will be running for uh, with slow speed for this one, just so we can illustrate the craziness of uh, what's going to happen here. We have jumped right on top of them, which is great for us, because our weapons are all very short range, high damage short range, and they're mostly shield based. Uh, we will need to take, keep an eye on our fleet layout here. But they're, this is their Federation fleet, actually, surprisingly enough. They aren't reinforcing it. I don't see any... Oh, dear Lord! Okay, uh, yeah, they are reinforcing it. Okay, we need to get the hell out of here. Uh, we cannot engage firepower of that magnitude. We have four days to get the hell out of there and do as much damage as possible to this fleet. Three days. I think we should be out of range before these guys can engage. This is the Hanfalia of Republic ships. Yeah, I completely forgot about the whole Federation fleet stuff. We can jump out. Oh my god. Felnal Restorers have vanquished an ancient threat in the distant... Which one was this? 
The mana to kill the dimensional horror. Okay, fair enough. Okay, we have managed to knock off a little bit of their firepower. Their main capital fleet is nowhere near in range of us, which is exactly what we want. Well, this is going to be a tough fight. Like, a tough war as well. Uh, especially with their side jump drive capabilities. What are these What are these ships based around? Mostly lasers, actually. Uh, their cruisers are not really all that impressive. Uh, this is their battleship class, which is a little bit more impressive, to say the least. Mulder class. Interesting. Their destroyers, mostly point defense, so they're focusing quite a lot on... They're, using, they're losing quite a lot of firepower on point defense, uh, especially considering we don't use any, uh, any fighter craft. This is actually quite good for us. It means that we will have the upper hand here, but we are losing battleships quite rapidly here. We're going to try to engage them before as long as possible. Take their shields down. Try to take their ships down as much as possible. What's the, what's the combination here? It's mostly battleships. 28 battleships and 28 cruisers. That is good. That's very good. Let's take a look here at our torpedo boat design. So our torpedo boats right now are using... Uh, they are relatively cheap. They're 289 each. Which means that right now we can only build three, sadly enough. Uh, we will need to upgrade that to the precognitive interface. Excuse me, I need to disable Skype here. For some reason, I decided to put that on. Eh. Yeah, let's get out of there. That's good. Yeah, it's a bit it's a bit on the loud side, isn't it? Yeah, I thought as much. Uh, okay, so that is taken care of. But looking at this setup, it's mostly battleships and cruisers. And I was taking a look at our ship designer here. Uh, what kind of... Okay, let's quickly go back in here. It's a combination of Neutronian and Shield. So it's kind of half-half. The 140 armor, 200, 1260 Shield. So it's a lot of Shields. Hmm. So... 100%, ignores 50% of armors plus 100% armor penetration is actually quite good for this situation. So let's we need to start building more torpedo boats, basically. This fight's not going to last much longer. We need to... Yeah, we're going to retreat right now. Okay, we lost one ship in this, in this uh, emergency FTL situation. Uh, lost a significant amount of the fleet, actually. 10 battleships lost, 13 corvettes out of 105, so that's negligible. Cruisers, 7 out of 33, uh, their losses were significantly larger. Uh, we did a lot more damage than they did, although relatively. But neither side is really using point defense. Uh, they're not using... Yeah, they're using a couple of... We're using mostly torpedoes. Uh, with their point defense layout, that could be useful, but... Mm, Arguable. All right, we might have to get the hell out of there. I actually am really interested in this technology, but what is most likely going to happen... What's this? Uh, you should not be there. <laughs> uh, yeah, that is a destroyer that just decided to jump in on top of the enemy fleet. And we have done quite a lot of damage if you look at the wreck, uh, wreck situation here. But there's quite a lot of ours as well. I'm just really worried about this circa, uh, this reinforcement fleet that has just managed to come out of nowhere. We will need to send the strike force to uh, our capital world and uh, try to reinforce this as much as possible. But they have a massive advantage with their uh, with their main fleet designs, as in their side jump drive gives them a huge advantage. We just lose a single destroyer. That's 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 negligible. Um, they do have quite a lot of firepower behind them. Uh, relative Navy strength, minus 8. And length of war is not really all that interesting. Uh, if we... Yeah, we can't... Uh, Deneb, yeah, we cannot allow them to do that. No. Where's this? This world, um, Beerus, I think, was one of them. No, it's not. Beerham? Where is this? Uh, let's take a look here. Suet. 
Okay, so that's this world actually down here. Which isn't Beerham, yeah. So even then, they're not really interested in it. Uh, Brius, Eregar, it's also it's a whole bunch of uh, Eglidemar, is this one they want. And even then, like I'm really, really, really not kind of worried about having this run out of control and basically cascading. And as such, losing a bunch of worlds that I'm not particularly keen on losing. Um, I do would like to. I would like to know where most of my capital fleet is. Okay, I should be able to build a bunch more torpedo boats, which I just did. Wow, we're getting a lot of energy. Where is all this energy coming from? Four hundred and ten. That's fascinating. Uh, it's mostly because of uh, the ship maintenance has gone down to 21. It's probably because our sh our fleet is currently missing in uh, in action, uh, which was to be expected. There they are. Uh, let's get them the hell out of here and send them back to Unity uh, for upgrades. Uh, actually, no, we want them to enter orbit here anyway, but we want them to be fixed. Uh, what we cannot afford right now is have. The enemy getting access to the magnificence that is the enigmatic shield technology or the any of the anim other enigmatic technologies really uh, that'd be a very dangerous precedent and we don't we want to get rid of that uh, we will most likely lose one of these worlds one of our options here is actually to splits up uh, split up some of our fleet oh my god we only have three battleships in here Oh wow. We only have four battleships left here. That's that's kind of staggering actually. I'm kind of worried about this down here. That is two torpedo cruisers. Okay, so we're basically trying to reset as much as possible, trying to get the hell out of here and uh re rebuild some of our forces because we didn't lose a significant amount. Yeah. Our ships being lost in uh in hyperspace kind of caused that uh, uh, th the our economy to boom basically for a little while uh, this war however is kind of worrying funnily enough they haven't pressed really into any territory so we just increased our naval capacity we could boost our habitability oh there it is I'm, I'm gonna do it I don't care so what I am wondering is whether or not the enemy f enemies uh, is actually out there somewhere. Oh, God, this is a problem. Okay, so we're going to send out these two strike forces. Uh, we're going to merge them up and start just harassing tiny things. Uh, I'm, I'm really curious on what's going on in terms of uh, with, the with the alien empire up here, like the Drawful protect Protectors. Like right now, they're equivalent in fleet power to us, to gel at least. And the handful of are out there as well. Uh, they're also equivalent to us, which causes serious problems. Uh, let's take a look here at the Zircog. They're also equivalent, but their fleet capacity, naval capacity is majorly inferior. But they haven't really sent out their fleets yet, which is something that I'm not particularly happy about. Let's take a look at their fleet designs, actually. Let's remove you for a second. So, your fleet designs. Where are you? Oh, there they are. So, they have tachyons, marauder missiles, and also jump... Why am I the only species in the universe that does not have any jump drive capable technologies? This is just unacceptable. Also, uh, it looks like we have ourselves a bounty. A bounty ahead of us. Uh, we want to take this research and do as much as we can with it. Uh, this is just a single Scout Force ship. We're going to go and poke around a little bit in the enemy in the enemy space. I'm really curious what they're doing out there. We don't have any vision on anything. And we want to change that as much as possible. The, m the more vision we have, the better. What's this? Oh, wow. These guys want to be a... They're no longer rivals of us. Where are they? Okay. Yeah, that's fair. Oh, it's these guys. Really? I thought... We, okay. We're no longer pathetic and they're receptive. 
Fascinating. Even though they're at war with us. Interesting. But the war score is currently minus, actually, for uh, this uh, war they are having with uh, the protectors up here. Which is kind of cool for us. Uh, okay. Uh, Okay, they're kind of stopping all their rivalries. This is fascinating. Uh, this science thing is going to finish very soon. Uh, we don't need to destroy their stuff all that much. Mainly because... Oh, it's 1.3k. That's actually quite impressive. Uh, we kind of do want to roam around their space as much as possible and try to gank things. Wherever, wherever possible, anyway. Uh, you are building... That's a that's not a construction ship at all. Uh, where is this small fleet that I had? It's this one, isn't it? Yes. We want you to engage these guys. And then we have this small strike force over here, which is seven, it was 1,700 power. It's a single cru It's two cruisers, a destroyer, and a couple of minor destroyers as well. We're going to send them into enemy space to probe around a little bit, see what we can find, and maybe you know play around with it a little bit. We have a large, f decently large fleet here, 33k. That is the Tijel main main capital fleet. Fair enough. They just they basically just jumped in right on top of it. Doesn't matter. It's 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 a tiny loss. It's not particularly amazing to see that. We do have a larger fleet. Okay, so we're kind of scouting this stuff out over here. So we're just kind of trying to gank as much. So we have ourselves a fortress uh, which has an FTL inhibitor, which is basically an FTL trap over here. We can deal with that. And they're basically just now scrambling around, trying to get uh, trying to pull out all these fires, which is great for us because it means that all the other guys are uh, yeah. That these, uh, these guys over here can just attack worlds whenever they want. And uh, the stack they're holy guardians, so what happened is Dujel probably tried to colonize some of their worlds. Bad move. Uh, not something that you want to do. Uh, in the meantime, can we upgrade some of these worlds? Not yet. There we go. Yet another 10% to our side jump drive. That's a huge bonus. Uh, that cannot be underestimated on how amazing that is. Uh, this is... I'm I'm really not keen on engaging the Dijel Confederacy fleet at the moment, mainly because their Alliance fleet as well as the Handful Air uh, Republic fleet is still out there and may cause some serious problems. We do have a lot of resources to build a lot of ships, and that's exactly what we're going to be doing: as many ships as possible, crank them out. Okay, so we lost a cruiser and a destroyer. Fair enough, we can handle that. That is not an issue. Okay, so there is a, there is that Starfleet here. It's thirty three k, and they were just they're just jumping around at the moment, and we can we can we can handle that. It's only thirteen. It's only oh, it's ninety four months to side jump drive. I would like to also point out that uh, because side jump drive is available and normal jump drive as well. There is a good chance that the Unbidden will arrive somewhere in the very near future. I'm also not particularly happy with the Felnol Restorers up here as they have decided to do a lot of pretty crazy shit. Uh, they are also at war with an unidentified empire. Apparently there's an empire out there that I have not seen yet. And I'm actually really curious. Uh, these guys do not like the Handful Air Republic at all. Yeah, the Felmel's restores opinion of the Handful of Republic is minus 221 because they refuse subjugation. All right, here we go. There's a 243 fleet here. It's in the middle of our space. Uh, can we engage that without without them being basically ramming around with, out with impunity? They are rather keen on taking this world. Yeah, they are trying to take this tropical world. Oh, it's minus 18. Yeah, we need to negotiate. That's a handful of Republic fleet. Uh, they are cordial to us, funnily enough. Which I find hilarious. It's basically the handful here that are dicks. 
genocidal, was at war, our rival, blah blah blah. Um I think we should cut our losses. Like it's minus eighteen right now. We could try to negotiate uh some of this territory up here that is not really interesting to us. It's Beerham, it's where the hell is Idlemar? Uh it's this world. Uh, it's a continental size something as well. Loziar, which is one of the ones up here. I, I don't even know where that is. Loziar is down here. So I'll give Loziar and Oldor, uh, which is that one. And I want one more. I could give you Eriga. It's four It's four worlds. It's five worlds. I, I don't want them to get my capital, capital world at all. Um, but yeah, we need to cut our losses. I think even though right now we're, we will be losing territory, sure. But uh, it is within uh, within a reasonable amount of thing. And the good thing is right now we're losing a bunch of uh, a bunch of population that is basically they were not happy at all being with us. They're pacifistic. But the problem right now is as these guys uh, as these guys have managed to flip, they're now they're xenophile, but they're now militarists and individualistic, which is an issue. And our empire has shrunk a little bit as well. I think we should. Okay, my acceptance is that. Okay, uh, hi, hello. Uh, would you like a research agreement? Uh, here, have, have a research agreement. That's that's they're not gonna like that too much. Um, how about some minerals? Like our energy, our energy output right now is perfectly acceptable. Uh, it's we can totally deal with that. Here, here, have some minerals. Thirteen a year. I, I I don't really care. Right now, I am interested in getting in a federation with these guys. Mega cannon, very nice. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba, Neutronian armor, eighty-two months. Uh, we have a sector that is not connected. That is, oh, it's up here, isn't it? And that is unfortunate. Um, we could try to manually control this. Uh, which sector is this? Or we we'll, can give it, it's Eructophon, isn't it? Yeah. So Eructophon, which is this one. Uh, we will just disconnect these ones and just basically create a new sector around it. I think that will be a good solution. Uh, yeah, this war didn't go very well in in, in total. Uh, I, I'm not particularly happy with it. Um, we will need to do something about this very soon, though. Yeah, these guys are still equivalent to us. Uh, oh, look, you've you've opened your borders to us. That is that is just hilarious. Absolutely, absolutely fun. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we can join a federation. We can join a federation here. Offer migration treaty. Uh, yes. So let's see if we can join this federation. The cost is too influence. We have that. It's no problem. Uh, let's do it. It's uh, it's not it's not the greatest idea in the world, but who? Okay. After select, select successfully translating the language, you've established communication with the Galactic Nomads. Remember those guys from episode 12? <laughs> Hello. How are you guys doing? Greetings. I am from Karba, the undistributed leader of the Galactic Nomads. But I will have to wait till next time the Nomads are here. And uh, we have uh, entered a temporary alliance uh, with, uh, with these guys in order to survive a little bit longer while we uh, take down the Confederacy of Volatria. But uh, that will have to wait till next time. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, until next time, take care of yourselves and uh, each other.